Hello YouTubies, I'm Corzy. Game today is going to be Bad Company 2, Variants Rush, of course, because the demo it only comes with a Game Variant Rush. Map is the Snowy Tree one. I have no idea what this map is called, I just haven't been paying attention to it since the demo has only got one map. <laughs> Next time I do a Bad Company 2 video, I will put the appropriate map name, I just, I just really have not paid attention to what this map's called, so for the sake of this video, it's going to be called Snowy Tree One. <laughs> um, main strat, chatter, that, just communicate guys, talk to your team, and the sweet thing about this game is, this game's fucking awesome, in the fact that if you don't have a mic, it's still not an excuse to not talk to your team, and that goes into the second part of my strat called spotting, and that's a form of communicating with your team, we're going to be talking about that today. We're also going to be talking about playing aggressively, but we're doing that smart, making smart decisions, not just running ass backwards into the demolition points. And the last strat is play objectives and not for KD ratio. And KD ratio is good because it does show you that you're doing something good for your team and you're playing smart, but also it doesn't mean you sit off in the trees and get a four point kill death ratio if you're not getting the objectives. So, you know, there's a counter and a balance to all of this. Let's get to the video. Alright, so I had to cut down a lot of this, these videos. Uh, just heads up, I am playing with my subscriber, and the gamer tag is Fusion, so... Fusion, what's up, dude? He didn't talk too much. I don't know if he was too shy or what the deal is, but he's a good guy. He plays the game well and objectively, and also playing with Bouncing Panda, which you might be some, seeing some vids of, and I call him Paul. So right now, I'm posting up into this demolition point, put a C4 pack on the stairs because there's only way, one way to get up into this demolition point, so if you arm this one, just sit on these stairs and guard them. And Paul's kind of uh, thrown down a medic pack for me, so health isn't so much an issue, and a shotgun at uh, a point like this is huge, but nobody seems to be coming to get the demolition point, I think they just pretty much saw that our whole team was there and just kind of like, well, better station ourselves at the next demolition point and try to go from there. One thing that's freaking bitching about this game's shotgun, um, remember, there is other shotguns that you will unlock in the full game, but the shotgun that we can have, the cool thing about the shotgun is you can pick any class and put the shotgun on it, shotgun gun on it which is really really cool so that goes into a whole other type of strategy so you can have the engineer kit the snipe kit the medic kit and all have the shotgun so it's completely up to you based on the situation that you're in um, the other thing that's really cool about the shotgun that I like is that you have to be accurate with it it's not modern warfare 2 like you know spray from the hip you have to be accurate you have to have someone in the center of that reticule like that circle on the screen that shows for the shotgun you have to have someone there if you don't you won't get a kill and so someone that's good at shotgun in this game is actually a pretty good player in my opinion and so this goes into the strategy of being objective but you know playing aggressively and I realize this is kind of a passive approach in the sense of I'm sitting off away from the objective but I am uh, I have in my squad fusion which is one of my subscribers so if you guys do you know send me friend requests I will take advantage of the fact that my channel is really small and I'll add you onto my friend my friends list no matter how big I get I'm not gonna take you guys off you're my first subscriber so you will be on my friends list um, I'm also playing with bouncing panda which is the friend of mine and another guy that's in my squad so we have some really good communication going on and because of this I'm able to do this scenario where I'm sitting back I'm sniping and basically what I'm doing is I'm spotting people and how to spot them is you put your sights on the person and you press the back button which is right next to the on switch on your controller on the left side and by doing this, you highlight them with the red triangles, putting them over the head, showing your entire team where they are. So not only am I just taking a buttload of these guys off um, as they're trying to get to these demolition points, I'm causing a massive distraction, which now they're battling between, oh crap, we've got two demolition points armed, and we've got the sniper that's picking us off at the side. Um, on top of the fact that I'm spotting a bunch of them. So it's like a massive teamwork display you just saw right there. That's really big. And uh, my team was doing a really good job of that, bouncing pan and fusion with our communication that we're going on spotting people. It's just, it's just a really big deal to be doing that. And I completely apologize for not posting things about spotting earlier. You should be spotting nonstop. 
that is this game. And like I said right in the beginning of this in my lobby loadout screen, is that the cool fucking thing about this game is that even if you don't have a mic, you do not have an excuse to not be a team player. This game is so well designed that everybody needs to be a team player. Everybody can be a team player. If you don't have a mic, you can contribute by spotting people and letting your team know where people are at. In a lot of situations, I think they're going to come up maybe later in this vid when we get to the last duration of demolition points is that you spot people before you start shooting at them like just before you start and the reasoning behind that is you don't know if you're going to survive that battle battle if xbox live is going to screw you over and if xbox live screws you over and you die that guy you spot is still spotted and so your team knows where he is so rather than you being selfish and trying to worry about your own life you're worried about the overall team objective and your team that you're playing with so by spotting them, you're giving a heads up to every single one of your teammates, and so if you die, they still know where he is. So demolition points are armed, or destroyed, moving and advancing to the next series of demolition points. There's a nice M9 series. And I get finished off by the guy with the saw. Not much I can do about that. And what I'm doing right now is just kind of watching the two guys that are by me and I'm communicating with my team asking them if they got um, one of them is a medic to get me back into this game but I see that uh, they're not and so I go back to my medic class which I was I just happened to pick up a sniper that's what you were seeing um, in the beginning of this vid and I chose to spawn on the squad member that was furthest into the base now, my new tactic that goes into this last uh, duration of demolition points is to arm A first because my experience in this game, like 80% of the time with every lobby that I play, is that the defending team is going to go over to B and not so much worry about A, like off of uh, defensive um, strategy. And that's just because when they're at A, they can't see B very well and they can't see down that hill. And so they push over to B. So you use that against them and the sense of if you route around behind the base in basic way I'm doing you can get around to A, arm A and their their team's gonna be over at B and a lot of the time if you're playing individually in this game you do a lot of the oh A's charged but some of my team's over there so they should get the demolition point disarmed and that you know that line of reasoning you use against them look at this this is just this is terrible like get some get some that, that's what to say about that look at this and then he takes some more gunfire you can see right here apparently if you're behind that you know missile tripod you're invincible don't know what's going on there uh, so we get a and another thumbs up to fusion like we had some really good slaying going on when we we're progressing up to this demolition point um, just like when I ducked behind those crates and then he finished off a guy who just really good teamwork and so right here is another example of spotting once I figure out that there's nobody else back here no stragglers gonna be coming around behind me to get an easy kill go back around this corner and there's gonna be a bunch of guys running down off of their spawn there's a couple of them so I dart by these boxes to give me some cover so I just spotted like three guys right there just by um, pulling up my sights on them and then pressing that back button and, and the nice thing about the it's kind of a little bit tricky to play with, but the cool thing about having to press the back button to spot is makes it not exactly super easy to do. So, I mean, it is something that takes, I guess, a slight amount of skill, but I can't say that's too difficult, guys. Um, because you have your your left thumb has to come off the joystick which controls your movement so you're not going to be able to move around when you spot people but you still have your aim and so you can control your aim while you're spotting people which makes it easier to spot people so that's a really quick game showing only two durations of demolition points this game was a lot longer but YouTube only handles 10 minute videos so I had to post this hope you guys like this video getting more and more subscribers I think I'm up to 98 right now I'm getting tons of support guys I appreciate it so much you guys are awesome I really think I've got like some of the best subscribers because you guys are super objective with the comments and you really understand what I'm saying and just thumbs up and thank you for that guys God bless again if you watch my video please rate 
you see those videos with like thousands of views uh, in my case it's only a couple hundred but rate the video if you watch it show some appreciation for my hard work talk to you guys later peace